Good morning, this is Bill Costanzo, Livestock Guardian Dog Research Specialist at the AgriLife Center in San Angelo. Uh, this morning we wanted to give you guys an update on the uh, RFID door that's on our feeding stations. So basically what we've done is we purchased uh, a large size RFID door. Um, the door runs on 4D batteries. We've had this unit out here for about a month now and uh, I still haven't had to change the batteries and so uh, if you check out our Facebook page I'll give you guys an update on when when the batteries do need to be changed out. Um, as I mentioned, this is a large size doggy door. Um, you have to have at least a large size for guardian dogs to be able to get in and out. Um, this unit is from PetSafe. Uh, you can buy it direct from them or you can buy it off of Amazon. Costs about $150 for, for the door itself. Uh, what we did is I just modified a four x four gate that we already had on one of our feeding stations. I took off the wire mesh that was on the back side and I attached a a four foot by four foot piece of uh, plywood. It's about a half an inch thick. Then cut a hole in the center per the directions um, from the company and then attach the door to it. Um, the plywood wasn't quite thick enough so I had to add a couple spacers to it to get it locked in there well. Uh, the door does have to be perfectly level and uh, horizontal. If not, if there's any movement at all, it won't allow the uh, mechanism to operate properly and then sometimes it'll either stay locked or it'll stay unlocked um, during the functions of it. So basically what happens is the dogs on their collar, they wear this little plastic RFID chip. When the dogs walk up to it, it opens and then they can get inside. Now, the one nice thing about this feeding station um, or the doggy door that's on this feeding station is that it has a sensitivity level. And so I have it set to unlock about 10 feet out. Um, that way the dogs know and they start to learn when they hear that mechanism pop that they can go inside of it. You do have to train your dogs to be able to use this. Uh, there's three lights that are on the front of the panel and so you can either lock this completely or you can unlock it completely or you can use it so that it uses the tag that's on the, the dog's collar. Um, to train the dogs basically I just leave it unlocked and then I grab the dogs and I put them inside and I drag them back and forth three or four times. I do that over three or four days. And uh, I also have a game camera on the unit to make sure that the dogs are actually going inside, which they are. Um, it's worked out really well for us so far. The dogs have figured out how to get in and out using the tag, and uh, we haven't had any issues. We are gonna be, um, oh, I did purchase two more of these uh, doors and a couple more gates, and we're gonna be putting one of these out of a uh, research ranch in Ozona. And so check back with us later. Um, for more updates on how it works out of the real ranch operation. Uh, we've just been using this here so far in the bonding pens, but the dogs have all adapted to it really well, and so we look forward to being able to use this and keep everything out of the feeding station except for the dogs. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us here at the AgriLife Center. Thank you very much for watching.